<laughs> hey, hello, my name is Anika Linkfest, and we are here at a roundtable for the Global Walkability Correspondence Network, today featuring Vani Mwamba, based in Cincinnati, USA. Vani is a native from Congo and a process engineer at Procter & Gamble. He is a passionate advocate for walking. He founded Urban Hikers to promote walking for health and community building and serves as the organization's chief hike evangelist. Vanny also produced a long form documentary called Why We Walk. We recommend looking that up, which explores the cultural and scientific benefits of walking. His goal is to inspire people to make walking a part of their daily lives. Thank you, Vanny, for ahead of, in advance for um, this presentation. Really looking forward to it. So without further ado, I turn it over to you. All right. Uh, thanks for having me. And once again, I'm Vanny Mwamba. And uh, I'm one of the founders of the Urban Hikers. And um, throughout this talk, uh, I will just kind of go through uh, the learning experience of uh, curating walks and also the transformative power on a personal level and what I see uh, throughout the whole things. All right, uh, here we go. Um, so, and why we walk, that, that is a sort of a, the hierarchy of the question is like everybody has a why. And uh, for me, the why I walk was uh, primarily as a, from an immigrant from Congo, it was uh, a way to have a high resolution perspective about the city I was living in, is to be able to explore places and be able to sort of map out visually what is taking place. All right, uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna show a little bit of a video and that sort of emerge us uh, and what the experience it is uh, of the urban hike experience. It's gonna be a little quick. All right, so, and uh, to go back of uh, sort of, uh, where's the urban hikers starting from? I think uh, these, uh, the three gentlemen, uh, myself, Toure and Abdi, uh, are sort of, uh, were at the core of this, uh, this organization, uh, the starting point. And what made it so interesting at the early stage is uh, the different perspective that we sort of bring to the table. And that allowed us to, to glue a little bit. Uh, there was a things about the triangle to be the stable structure and to have a three individual to start something. And for us to be able to share, um, to share those, uh, uh, those perspective and uh, religious, uh, there's two major religion that uh, I represent here. And you got a three different country, and, and, and I think uh, that gave us so much opportunity for conversation and uh, sort of uh, enjoy 
little bit of a, extend a little bit the exploration of the city. And uh, one of the things about walking is, uh, especially in the United States, uh, walking is, is such a powerful medium. Uh, it represents so many ideas. It has so many symbols uh, from uh, march to uh, health. And uh, it was quite peculiar because at the early stage, uh, especially for black in America, for us uh, to see a bunch of black guy walking, uh, uh, it does, we was getting some eyes. Uh, it's like, what is, this is a march. Is this is, so there's a lot of questions. Uh, sometimes uh, with the eyes that nobody dared to ask because uh, the idea of grouping, uh, it, was, it was for us, it was an intellectual exploration, but we were confronted by those uh, societal norms that is, has been part of this fabric and this society here. And um, going through every day and confronting those things, and, and what is fascinating is uh, some of the places we used to walk, if there was a uh, stadium, perhaps there's a football game and nobody really cared because uh, there's a lot of people moving. But if there's nothing happened, there's just a group of guy walking. <laughs> you stand out right away. There was a, okay, what is this going on here? But anyway, so that was kind of the, the, the learning uh, experience for us. And throughout this talk, I think, uh, uh, and uh, I'll share a little bit, a uh, few things where we didn't see a lot of people walking. Uh, one of the things is like uh, the idea of jaywalk, uh, jaywalking. And it does have a, uh, in Cincinnati, we, people was more hesitant to walk because jaywalk uh, has a sort of a societal uh, deep, deep, it was for automotive company that was promoting to tell people, uh, J mean you backward thinker. So uh, if you cross a street where it's not well designated, uh, so that means you uh, get a jaywalk ticket. I mean, you're not sophisticated enough. So th there was a sort of a cost associated with not walking. So it's better just to drive because you don't want to. <laughs> so and there's those pillar that has contributed to, to stop people to sort of enjoy the mundane and just explore the city apathetically. And so, uh, yeah, anyway, so... Uh, the, the the urban hiker as a whole right now, uh, so we are sort of a nonprofit organizations, and I think uh, the overall goal is to to allow people to be this aggregator with low barrier of entry. Uh, what it means is is uh, every every organization has some sort of a, a entry point. Uh, if you are part of a golf club, you have to spend. You have to have a golf club to. Uh, if you're part of the runner, you have to be in shape apathetically. Uh, and we think like walking is sort of the lowest of the lowest barrier and you don't have to pay. And uh, to be able to aggregate around this and uh, give the opportunity for people of different walk of life to be able to encounter and then engage. And this is some of the, uh, uh, what is taking place on the walk. And uh, you can see there's a lot of commodity. Uh, there's a, uh, different exchange of ideas and there's a people from different walk of life and uh, the goal sometimes is not to solve all problems but th there is a spark of perspective that you share along the way and people get away uh, a little bit much more wiser much more uh, comprehensive uh, apathetically and in the past we have used walking it as well uh, for specific uh, one of the, our fund uh, the founder uh, Toure uh, sitting, uh, uh, his uh, sister had a breast cancer, and this is one of the work that we've curated on, on, on her behalf. And uh, uh, the interesting part is uh, majority of the people that show up, uh, they never consider it as just a leisure walk as it thinks to do. And I think that was uh, for us uh, an opportunity to even drill down of uh, the uh, the benefit, and, and uh, there, there was a uh, there was a study that came uh, not a study so apathetic a cat, in order for a cat to be uh, comfortable in a specific space, 
Uh, they have to shed light. They have to see every corner of a uh, of a room, and I think is is uh, that is the same as well for for humans. It's like in order to 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 forge a comfort in your home city, uh, you you have to at least uh, know energetically all the space uh, in your city, and I think uh, is for easy integration uh, and uh, apathetically. And so this is a uh, a lot of uh, yes. And, and, and the most interesting, uh, I've seen uh, people from uh, different, the conversation, the, the, sh uh, the sheer amount of conversation that take place uh, and I get exposed to is quite a mind boggling. It like sort of opened my eyes to so many things. We're a professor. It's like there is this, uh, we own this together, and, and, uh, which is for me has been a, sort of a blessing to witness uh, some of the exchange that take place. And this is one of the, the interesting parts. So on, on the left side, it was like uh, the first two minutes uh, when people meet, uh, you, they, there's always the tensions uh, because uh, <laughs> it's, part, it's, it's almost like a first date, right? <laughs> so <laughs> you get people there, the, the, uh, they don't know, it's like, what well, I'm here uh, and you can see the aftermath after walking to hear each other's story, they're no longer stranger to one another. Uh, so they energetically open to each other's and there was a the laughter. And I think uh, that is walking does. And uh, I, I had, walking is such a, uh, it can weave energy through it. I've seen some times where when the group start walking together, as we walk, you can see how walking sort of rearrange people uh, in a way where the people that have to talk with one another, they're just talking and it just rearranged people in a way the experience uh, is beneficial for everyone involved and, and apathetically. So yeah, this is, okay. And uh, in the past, uh, in order to, to sort of inviting people to join uh, uh, the walking, uh, that was also for me a long a learning experience into a uh, one medium to to curate it for people to uh, to come. Uh, I've used uh, some of the well known medium here. Uh, Facebook uh, was one. Uh, Using local movement, uh, people just give you a thumbs up. <laughs> I said I'll be there, and I've used Eventbrite. Uh, uh, I've used uh, sometimes I've used also Airbnb, where uh, which was really uh, untraditional, where I'll pair the pain people who come usually the outsiders and the free people the insiders. So I'll use two medium for curated for one walk, where I'll part maybe a ten spot for a pain, and and that uh, because. The benefit was mainly for the outsider as well, uh, because an, an insider would not pay to go for a walk uh, for the most part. But uh, usually when an outsider come, they don't, they get a tour guide to, to show them a specific place, but they, they don't really get to, to enjoy the fabric of uh, a community, a place and to be able to exchange, I think that was for me was a uh, quite a, 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 a quite a learning, uh, a, an interesting dynamic uh, to see that take place. And uh, oh, there was a lot of, uh, I say, the moral, the pay and unpay, but the benefit of the exchange uh, for the local. And I've seen people decide to move based on that by just talking to people, and to have much more of a local question to see hey, what's going on here and, and, and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So yes, um, so what I really, uh, overall, so we started in 2015 and this is some of the milestone we've covered so far. And so host over 500 hikes. Uh, we, uh, in the past, we also explored different cities, uh, Detroit, uh, Detroit, uh, what else, Washington DC and, uh, and Cincinnati, the overall Cincinnati neighborhood. And Cincinnati, uh, we usually go with neighborhood, they have a, have a higher uh, workability. 
uh, sidewalk is important. And and the the the, the premise is uh, I always ask myself what comes first, is the sidewalk or is the walker? And we hope uh, eventually, if the walker can influence city official uh, to 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 start pave uh, uh, to start open up uh, connection. And there's a lot of study that even support the. Uh, the the presence of a sidewalk and also are uh, politically open people are the more sidewalk is in specific place uh, there was much more of a political uh, tolerance with others because you can see someone pass by and if you more so sidewalk uh, uh, in a way is another way to do uh, is a portal to exchange uh, ideas. And the more of it, the better. Uh, I mean, so socially, uh, socially, uh, intellectually, and also health-wise, and people don't have to to spend money to go in a park. They just can just walk right after the sidewalk. And uh, yes, and this is sort of the uh, yeah the experience of uh, walking. This is some uh, the different photos, and uh, why. Why this is important? Um, I think it's important. Uh, so United States, uh, so there's a few statistics here, according to the CDC, 80% uh, of the population now live in urban area. And, uh, and I think uh, be, be able to, to, to empower people to, uh, to take leisure walk uh, as a way to, to expose themselves to the place they live, and to be able to exchange ideas and also heart disease and on the health side of it heart disease in the united states is the number one killer and uh, we know driving is no good for anyone so it's good to displace things but uh, we we feel like uh, by promoting this sort of initiative uh, sort of uh, empower people to join the walk and i have to say this because why this is important? Uh, so there's a uh, the study which I'm I'm gonna send the link uh, that will test the difference between the mental offset of walking in nature and this is walking in urban area. So uh, when you walk in the nature, uh, your brain wave is much more relaxed. Uh, so you have a much more of a quick uh, mental uh, mental reset. This is when you walk in an urban area, because uh, sometimes depending on the area you live, uh, there's a lot of elements that you have to be aware of. There's cars, there's people, there's danger, apathetically. But uh, the only difference is in urban area, when you walk in a group, uh, you especially, if for women, for different people, walk in a group sort of... Uh, you no longer relate on your physical strength to, so you become like a child lost into, so you get the same benefit like walking in nature because uh, when you walk in a group, uh, you're not worried about anyone attacking you by yourself, uh, especially for women or different things and things of that nature. So that is, uh, and, and this few statistics that, that, that sort of the heart disease affect uh, everyone around and uh and according to the cdc walking is by far the cheapest and the most effective way to combat it, uh that so um anyway uh, uh for what is uh so the goal of the urban hiker is uh accessibility uh, uh accessibility into uh aggregating this walking group across community, across neighborhood, uh, because his work is uh, to be able to give people opportunity where to just engage. And, uh, and that, that is sort of ultimately the goal and, and make purposeful in a way where people can come and just explore the neighborhood in a group and things of that nature. All right. Uh, in the past, uh, this is also uh, 
uh, my past experience, uh, I've introduced uh, some walking and uh, CPS, Cincinnati Public School. And uh, the kid uh, with the glasses, uh, you can see, his name is Akbar, he's a, blind, uh, he's, he's a blind kid. And that was the first time for him also to be able to have that type of experience in an uh, in urban area and to be able to, and you can see the static uh, to, is, an, is normal part of it. And, and the, the, the good thing is uh, you can see uh, everybody, <laughs> it was such a powerful element to, to sort of witness uh, the kid be emerged in the experience. And, and I think uh, that was for me also transformative in a way. Uh, and we also uh, think uh, the urban hiker uh, currently, uh, I'm curating, uh, which is, uh, we all know the uh, education system is, a, is, a, is quite a, a, a <laughs> is heavy and uh, uh, highly uh, bureaucratic. Um, but uh, at the core, there was a student who have to be touched, who have to be, uh, they have to find, to be exposed to a, a self-regulating mechanism. And we think uh, if you're a walker, uh, you, you become a walker, you don't need motivations. It's become part of uh, you. So you don't need to be motivated. So being exposed, uh, give them those tools early on can be transformative uh, for them in the future. Yeah, this is some of the, the few experience with the students exploring and uh, all right. Uh, so some of the opportunity for us is uh, 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 curate this model and open source it. Meaning uh, what, what we have done in the past is uh, for the urban hike experience has been, uh, so we usually start from coffee shop to another coffee shop. Uh, coffee shop perhaps uh, is one of the cheapest third place uh, people can aggregate it. And, and uh, I think that model can be replicated everywhere where people can gather around, uh, uh, can meet and specific, can be anywhere, the library, uh, anywhere and explore the city together. And this is also the film, uh, so while we walk, and uh, this is one of the films that we, uh, we, uh, we've done. And, and the film, sort of uh, uh, is compiled so many ideas all at once. Uh, one, there was a, the idea of like, uh, of walking itself. There was a, also, we walked from uh, Harpers Ferry to West Virginia. And uh, there was also celebrating also people who have shown incredible bravery, uh, which we stayed on the movie, John Brown was one of them. That, uh, and sometimes uh, as a, as a, my hero look like me and we have to as, uh, be able to recognize people cross over and those are people we also have to celebrate and i think uh, there's a kinship uh, when you're walking to really admire humanity at its core when somebody do something brave is worthy to be celebrated so um uh, anyway so this is uh so my name is Vanny. I think this is kind of the overall uh, uh, urban hike experience. And uh, my goal and uh, the hope of the urban hiker is uh, uh, to, be, to empower people to, to, to really explore their community and find some uh, easy and non-taxing way to aggregate and walking across cities and be able to give people opportunity you just need one guide for 15 people. So it's a, <laughs> it doesn't take a lot. You don't have to learn the history of the space. Uh, you don't have to give a lesson plan to anyone, but you just have to move them from one point to the other and return them to where you're starting from. So, <laughs> all right, I think this is it. Thank you. All right. All right, see so any question and uh, we can go from there. I just wanted to jump in. Thank you for all of, I'm just, I'm sitting in my chair. I'm like, yes, I'm there. I'm there. If, like, you're dropping it. I'm just like, he's dropping it. So <laughs> like, 
I just, I'm like, what, why, ha, how have we not met before? So I just, just honor you and your work and believe in every single thing you said with, with like a full body enthusiasm. So if there's ways I can support and share and collaborate anyway, just yes. thank you for your work. It's so needed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, great, great presentation. I was going to ask, are there, do you ever get involved with uh, politics with the group, like groups that organize? Um, I'm always thinking about how uh, there's power in number and, you know, leveraging groups of advocates to um, push elected officials for uh, improvements for pedestrian facilities in the city. Um, does it does your work ever involve, get into that arena? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I think that that is where uh, we are heading. At the early stage, it was sort of a, to start a grassroots to see if uh, the proof of concept uh, is uh, is useful enough for because uh, get a community first. And, and uh, I have to share also, I'm also slow to, because it's work as uh, as we evolve uh, to to be able to be uh, integrating this, uh, the fabric of the, uh, the community to get politically involved and also have the right people because uh, we think that will help uh, accelerate uh, a lot of integration and, and some of the, the works that need to be done around the city that involve pedestrian safety and things of that nature. Yeah, I think so it's on our to-do list and uh, we still seeking a way to, uh, to integrate that and to support and be part of it. Mm -hmm. All right. One question I had, um, Benny, do you, um, do you all train like new leader? Do you do like any training of leaders, people that want to be a part of it and like host events in their area? Or do you try and just like, just give people permission in any ways you can to like get those, just get out there and move? Like, is there any, any kind of leader training in your work? Yeah. Uh, that, that is for me also the learning experience, uh, the learning yeah. curve. Because I'm the type of guy, I'll just go hands on, do it. And I, I assumed everybody the same. <laughs> but uh, now I was like, okay, it's time to step back uh, to, I, I started now creating curriculum and to empower people exactly uh, the ex uh, how to guide and, and to be able. So it, it is something that I feel like in order for these things to go beyond beyond uh, us, uh, they have to be a pass on uh, element and you have to be a uh, well calibrated and well curated to, to empower people who want to guide. So, uh, and I think that is something that I'm currently uh, with few of my team to, to build around uh, teaching. I've, I've host couple, but uh, I think uh, this uh, summer is going to be extremely uh, really intentional to to be able to certify more guides so they can be able to help people in their community as well. So yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a learning curve, but uh, I haven't done effectively yet, but yeah. it's, uh, I'm on my way to get there. Oh, that's awesome. It, it's just, it's one of the things that we've been doing with Walk to Connect for so many years. And so yes. if 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 you want to get together sometime one on one, I I you can I can send you all of our stuff, oh, yes. cut and paste, um, like or we could collaborate. There's yes. just some new there's some new things that are coming up around. So just if if it's if that's helpful, I'd be happy to share some of that stuff. Correct. I I, I definitely need a lot of help into uh uh be able to off charts to be able to give people uh, uh the right tools. So. I'll build on people who've done it before. Yes, I'm uh, definitely going to link up uh, to make this happen. Awesome, awesome. And I'd like to say, I, I am sitting here like, what can we do in the future with GWCN and, and meetups? Um, 
Uh, as I always say, I'd really prefer to be with you all in person, but this is the next best thing. But I'm sitting here, um, I think we have a few people from uh, from outside of the U.S. here. There's three of us from outside of the U living currently outside of the U.S., and then three of you in the U.S. And I, I mean, I, I'm curious about your work, Corey, and then also the, of course, the synchronicity between Jonathan and Vanny's work. So I'm sitting here thinking... What can we do for a potential panel that in you know that hosts all of you and then some other leaders? It's, you're all leaders, um, um, action and thought leaders in the U.S. on walkability uh, to have us have some sessions for people also who want to get involved but just don't just don't know how or where to begin and 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 maybe that could be the theme of the session. So I'll be following up with all of you about that. What we can do maybe later in the summer. Yes, yes. For those of you here who, who are not able to join by video, please feel free to drop um, questions also in the chat if your video is not operating. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, maybe I'll share a, little, a small story. Uh, uh, I think uh, the, the 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 walk itself usually uh, there, there's an expect sometimes early on when we have people come there's sort of an articulate expectations uh, where you stop a people who walk for uh, to just br a brisk walking where it's a pace walk it's like a, give them a hard bumping but sometimes it's not always uh, conductive to have a conversation in those space. So early on, I would have people, <laughs> there was always uh, the friction between those who want to go faster and those who, <laughs> so be able to, uh, and that, that was uh, kind of uh, a learning experience to to attend to people's expectations, what it is, what is not. And, and, and I feel like uh, usually when you uh, curated things, uh, that have a huge spectrum of interpretations, uh, it can lead to a lot of a uh, uh, lot of tensions. So uh, it was uh, quite a to tell people, okay, we can slow down. <laughs> this is not a, this is not a sprint, but uh, uh, early on, so that was uh, an interesting uh, an interesting element to learn from it. Yeah, that's that's really funny. That reminds me of a group. Here in Philly, Philly, I think they're called uh, it's Urban Hikers or something along the, those lines. I went on one of their walks, mm -hmm. and it was hardcore. I mean, we, <laughs> we showed up at the train station. People had like hiking boots on, and um, some people had uh, you know like hiking sticks. sticks. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I had to drop out after maybe like a mile and a half, two miles because they were all just going so fast. And I, I like uh, what you said and because there was no preface to it. Um, mm -hmm. And I see walking really as more of a, like a meditative and reflective exercise. And like you said, it's not a race at all. It's about, I see it as a way to experience the built environment and connecting with your neighbors too. So. Correct. Yes. Yeah. That, that, that is uh yes, it is. And also uh, for me, uh, walking is, I like after the walk, I can go to the bar, get a drink. Or uh, so th there's a stay as urban as possible. So it's uh, it's not export. So I can integrate part of the fabric uh, of my everyday life. So after the walk, uh, I can I can go out and I have a drink. Uh, it's not running something that nature. So it, it is much easier to integrate that part of everyday life. Agreed. So there's so much I, the, like that what you're saying, uh, you know, Manny, about what, you know, especially the um, the energy that happens between people moving next to each other, shoulder to shoulder, side by side, bodies moving forward under an open sky. Like it's like all of this stuff. And then, you know, connecting it, Corey, to what you were saying around to do that strategically with people who are making big decisions on communities like so all of this medicine like it's actual medicine Correct. and to then bring that into planning and engineering is what i mean literally benny what you were saying 
every I, hundreds of walks where people start like they're checking their time they're like <laughs> kind of annoyed like why haven't we started walking yet like they're just i mean just i don't want to you, you kind of smell weird don't look yes. at me and ju just five minutes into movement it's like and then 20 oh. minutes it's like oh you're like my best friend and then <laughs> every time and it's <laughs> it's just such a it is literal medicine and yes. so to then you know it's endless and just but to do that one of the things i've been doing trying to do more and more is with engineers and planners Corey, around all right we're going to meet here and we're going to walk these areas to, i mean just because i know it's just in and of itself i don't mm -hmm. need to tell them all the things mm -hmm. they actually know a lot of the things already and mm -hmm. Oh, it's just such a it's such a needed pairing of the two. And I think about Scotland is such a great example. They have I don't know how many. Is it five or six full time staff members that work for the Scottish government who their whole job is to train walking volunteer walking leaders It's that that's their work working for the oh. government. Like they get benefits. It's their job. They have like eight thousand I don't know how many leaders, but it's a lot. And one of those positions is part-time bridging and training these thousands of leaders or hundreds of leaders to be mm -hmm. pedestrian safety advocates. I, mm -hmm. And they're all paid by the government. I'm just like, I, I can't, I can't even, <laughs> we got a long way to go, but we're trying. Anyway. That's amazing. I want to, I have to now read up. Do you know how long, is it a program? Well, it's through, yeah, it's through, I think part of it is, uh, is it, I know part of it is get, um, Scott, no, I think I'm thinking of get Ireland walking. Oh, there it but is. All, course, okay, Scotland walking. But yeah, yeah I just, uh, that was a quick... literally yeah. federal mm. staff with benefits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what, what about you guys in the States? Like, is there any city yet that has appointed, I know Vienna has a pedestrian, actually a pedestrian officer. Uh, there's an office of pedestrian affairs in the Viennese city government. Yeah, but these are things that, again, this to me is part of the network. Like, like, yeah. well, where, where's the first city in America that's going to have the first, you know, municipal employee devoted to pedestrian issues? Oh, oh. Yeah, Denver? Maybe. <laughs> and I just love, what I love so much about Scotland is everything Vanny said, everything he's, everything he's doing with these hikes. Like they have appointed multiple people who under, like to, it's all, it's just training volunteer walk leaders for connection, for health, for community. And then from, so that's the main thing. And then from there, they they have an intentional position that's that's training people to make it easier, safer, more accessible. Um, but it 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 starts with the base building. It's like let's let's build community. Let's let's mm -hmm. get outside. Like it starts there, and it's just such a god. It's such a great example to me. Well, yeah, that, that, that is, uh, and, and I think uh, because. Uh, uh, it built a lot of empathy uh, because I'm a driver, I'm also a biker, I'm also a walker. Uh, so in a way, if you use all the three transportation in any city, if you only use of one, you really don't know the empathy of how to like respect the bikers and, and be able to, to, to be exposed all the three, you can see sort of the relationship of uh, 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 how, yeah, to be the empathy, build city leader to, to yes, I, I think, wow, what an incredible idea. Maybe I'll push this in Cincinnati, hopefully <laughs> that'll be good. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Well, I've been doing, um, whenever there's a, an election, I mean, I just find myself reading a lot more about city governance and in the existing documentation. There's so much emphasis in, in Philadelphia right now on affordable housing and, and on housing. And and in the city charter, there's like uh, sections dedicated to like the Fair Housing Commission and like all of these like 
departments and age standing agencies that will last through different administrations um, dedicated to this you know singular issue of, around housing. There's nothing like that for transportation and housing and transportation are inextricably connected. Mm -hmm. um, and so what you have like historically we'll have like a, a bike and ped planner in the department of planning and development. Um, but ne there's never like a codified vision for walkability, supporting walking, especially as it relates to the things you guys have been talking about, the health, uh, you know, the economic benefits, um, and the social benefits too. And all those things really connect to all of the other issues that I feel like, uh, come to the forefront in any debate for city council, for, uh, for any elected office, really. It's like, can we keep people safe and can we support small businesses and can we keep people healthy and like all that ties into, into walking. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, we, we need to learn from, I think, other cities abroad, honestly, to adopt some of their, their policies. Yeah, yes. because the temp, there are templates there, right? There's these, uh, I mean, even this one I shared, the one in Vienna, I think that was a pretty novel one in all of Europe. It might've been the first, at least the first mobility agency with a team devoted totally to walking. So it's like, oh, the, the, there's there's templates to look at and, and learn from and be inspired and share with officials. I mean, I'm I'm now excited to to think about, okay, where, where's the, we're gonna see it. It's gonna be an, um, I, actually maybe some of the people in this room will be involved with helping that happen. Um, the first like, you know, municipal agency devoted to walking or municipal at least team or at least one person to begin with. <laughs> so that's an idea for yeah. a session. <laughs> yes. Totally, totally. And, and also economically, uh, uh, yeah, because uh, some of the places uh, do not have, uh, they sort of far away from a driving car, uh, parking space. Uh, uh, usually for people who prefer to have, to go places where they're near the cars. So if you have walkers, it's a way to sort of, uh, you can touch uh, economically, you can spread a little bit of wealth across all these marginalized uh, small spaces that, that is hard to reach, uh, don't have like structure to support uh, parking and things of that nature. So it's good for the city uh, and uh, it's good for business to have walkers all, uh, all over the place. Uh, they can be able to to sprinkle out will be wealth everywhere. Yes. I always, I, yes, it's just, it's like, I always think about it too. A friend of mine said this recently and I just, it really stuck, but walking it like, it's like a great leveler in some ways. It just levels. It's like you just, your humble body, your humble, imperfect story. You got to go to the bathroom. The yes. sun is hot. It's yeah. raining. You yeah. smell. I smell. I'm, <laughs> I'm farting, like whatever it is, like you're just your body's out in the world with. And so there's something about that, too, I think, where you're just you you fall into hum humility in a way that is so important, so important. And then to stumble upon so many connections and these micro businesses, like actual small businesses, not corporate small business, like. Oh, it's just endless. It's absolutely endless. Beautiful. <laughs> I get really weird about this stuff too. So, <laughs> but yeah, you're in the right place. <laughs> this oh. is... <laughs> nice. I'm going to say thank you, and we're going to keep the video open, but I'm going to stop recording at this point and say thank you to Vanny and to everybody who is here. It's really exciting. It's a small group, but exciting group, and um. It's got my mind ticking about uh, a lot of things happening stateside that I want to learn about from you all more too. And, and also these ideas for what we might see happen and be involved with making happen. Um, so Vanny, if you have any closing remarks, everybody's got your, uh, where they can follow you. Yes, I think, uh, I mean, 
Yeah, so we on uh, Instagram, ideally, uh, it's called Official Urban Hikers. Uh, I'm going to drop the link here, hopefully so. But uh, uh, it was a pleasure, it's an honor to be able to share this passion and uh, with uh, everybody else. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, my mind got, I'm working now, I have to work a lot, uh, uh, all this feedback and uh, to see to what extent uh, we can drive this. Uh, to improve our community and the city we live in. Thank you. Thank Excellent. You, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a very interesting uh, presentation. Um, so I was uh, curious, like at the when you like begin this um, urban hikers, uh, like the organization. Um, yeah. What kind of a like? Did you face any challenges? like gathering more people, uh, like um, volunteers to participate in this event and what kind of like uh, solutions you use it to like to get more people attracted to the event? Yeah, uh, uh, and, and I think, uh, I thank you for the question. Uh, uh, some, uh, some, some of the early challenge uh, is perhaps culturally as well, because uh, Especially uh, what part of uh, the world you live in. But in the United States, walking has a different uh, layer of meaning. Uh, so, depend what, uh, if you walk in a group, you project, uh, usually people walk here for, if it's not a marathon, if it's not a like, clear, organized way where people wear the same outfit, uh, uh, they tend to go for sort of a civil rights element and some of the early stages like people looking at like okay uh is this a march is this is a so there's the, the sort of the, the the early uh challenge that we met but uh, and the same token is also there's a trust factor into uh, uh how to to get people to trust a little bit more about what we we're doing uh, and so that, that was kind of the, the early challenge that, that we met. But over time, um, after we've been consistent at it, because we use the same route, it was much easier. So uh, novelty, I think at, at the end is, uh, this is a sort of a novel idea within our community. We require a little bit more of a longevity in order for people to get warm up to the idea. And so it took a little while for us uh, Work individually, just three of us for a year before uh, people start even thinking about joining. So, uh, uh, yes, yeah, that's, that's literally some of the early challenge. So, uh, in addition to so social media, did you use any other methods to like communicate yeah. to people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, word to map, uh, we, uh, uh, do posters as well. Uh, uh, so we, there was a sort of parody of social media and also go places where, uh, coffee shop usually, where we usually meet up, have a poster there and put a date when the next meetup can be, so uh, to invite anyone to join. So that happened, uh, had some effect as well. So just uh, finding the starting point and go to different places. Uh, just tell it this day we're gonna be here this time. Join us. So okay, thank you. Do we have more questions? We can go a bit longer than scheduled if people have some questions. Yeah. I have a question. So you're based in Cincinnati? Correct. And is it sparking? Do you think or do you have aspirations for it to spark local movements in other cities and urban environments nearby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a, uh, actually, uh, next week, uh, uh, I'm opening up a new chapter in Cleveland. Uh, so use the same model. Of, uh, so we uh, uh, 
that is actually the aspiration to a point where people in the network ideally is to to get the local people to show outside about the local environment so uh, where you look like if you live in one city for a long period of the time like here in Cincinnati and if I'm part of the network I can invite people to come and explore like a locals uh, and uh, usually part of uh, walking is less informative about give you the rundown about places, names, and stuff in that nature because that's a lot of work for any individual to, to accumulate those data. So it's usually for a guide, the only responsibility is uh, to keep a certain pace and also uh, be able to, to get a uh, the route. So we usually have a, a starting point, the middle point, and go back to the starting point. And it's usually within a four miles loop, usually. So anywhere, if we have four to five miles loop, uh, it can be. So the aspiration is to even outsource this model and give as many uh, as many people access to to the same model because it seems to be uh, has to be less on the people who guide who volunteers. Uh, to, to sort of sustain longevity. Because if you become a tedious and uh, too much work, the burnout can be high. So it's kind of designed in a way to, uh, uh, to, to, to reduce the workload. Uh, you're only responsible to be low, sort of the GPS point for the group and, uh, in that sense. And be able, people can take from uh, and one of the benefits I've seen also is uh, people, uh, there's this idea of a high and low resolutions. Uh, you know, when I'm driving, I have a low resolution about my city. Uh, when I'm walking, I have a high resolution. And, and, and for people who've been here for a long period of the time, they think they know the city, they drive in it. But as soon as they walk, they'll be like, oh, I never noticed this. So, and I think uh, I might see a new restaurant they never even pay attention that exists there. So they might see a new cafe. So there, there's a, and also it's good. And on the other side, it's also good for the city because by increasing pedestrian, uh, you increase a sort of economy accessibility for some of the stores. Here, if you have a coffee shop or a store that is not near a good lot of parking spaces, the opportunity of having people to come there sort of tremendously decreased in the sense that be able to spread out people to, to, to walk gives them accessibility. Yeah. There, there, there is a, yes, there is a lot of, uh, I'm a, I want to collaborate more and to, with other organizations. I think this is it's not a, the collective effort in order to create access so, and uh, be able to build on uh, other people, each other's knowledge, to, uh, but ultimately to give people access to walking and different places. Daniela. Thank you. Um, sorry. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the presentation. It makes me think a lot, a lot of things. Uh, the first one, we have a uh, same situation in Brazil because heart disease are uh, the first uh, cause of death. And uh, walking for health is very, very important. Uh, also for physical health as uh, mental health, as you said. So I'm very excited with this idea because the feeling of uh, safe uh, that you mentioned um, when people are in group, I, I like to walk, but I I'll walk alone uh, as tra um, transportation. But when when we are in uh, group, uh, I think the the people enjoy enjoy the situation, and we have both uh, benefits. Um, but uh, in Brazil, because of the cause of death, we have uh, 
public health and we have a thing uh, called uh, basically health units and we have a family health strategy that um, has uh, high, uh, walking groups with uh, people with hypertension and they walk in the streets as a health promotion strategy and do you have something like this because I, I believe uh, in the uh, universities uh, in the public health universities maybe they have something like this but uh, do you think uh, your group could have something like, um, uh, I don't know, how to, uh, so ju just a minute, my, my English is not very, very good. Um, uh, some kind of support of the government, the local govern government or uh, the social organization uh, local or, or in the neighborhood, something like this. Right, thank right. You. Yeah, yes. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, I think uh, uh, because as working, you can you can compile with so many uh, so many uh, uh, subjects within because it's a, it's a one tools that can affect mental health, that can affect uh, uh, sort of uh, physical health, your heart disease, and can also uh, facilitate social connections. And mm -hmm. so it's like all those things is compiling one activity. And uh, I think uh, on a personal level, uh, I was like, what is the most sophisticated way to package the one idea uh, as one entity? Because ultimately, uh, uh, if I have to uh, reveal, we, we, I can't compartmentalize for working for heart disease working for mental health, working for, uh, and I think I have a tapping into uh, the social, the governmental side of things. Because I feel like uh, the problem is big enough to a point where uh, it should be, <laughs> I, I have another, I don't, nonprofit is really, uh, Usually, if something become a nonprofit, uh, is is a secondary to the need of the collective. And uh, early on, there was a resistance to to go to a nonprofit. I was trying to commercialize to have this to be a commercial product because it seems to address so many problems. But uh, yes, uh, which is I'm rethinking a little bit more how I can uh, tap into more resources because to, to have much more of accessibility and be able to provide walking for all the different segments. And, and uh, recently, uh, this on a cycle, recently uh, there was a elder home here where all the people, uh, where people live. Now uh, I'm planning on start curating short walks for them as well. And, 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 to create things uh, because it, it, it gives them opportunity to engage and also maintain, uh, to be healthy. But uh, uh, I'm still learning, to be honest, uh, and I haven't really find uh, the perfect uh, recipe to be able to make this as a sustainable thing as possible. But uh, I'm in a journey and uh, that's why I'm part of this, uh, this network to be able to learn from other people who've done different things and I can take it back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Devonta, Christian. So, uh... What are the biggest obst obstacles you have faced like when you work with the groups uh, since you have started uh, working? Okay, like can you physical obstacles, like, I mean, in the city, for example? Oh, in your city? Yeah, uh, so let me rephrase that. You say what all the difficulty I have to uh, uh, have a group in all the cities 
no uh, so what are the biggest difficult i mean the, uh, can you talk about like some of the difficulties uh, you have faced like uh, when you work with a large yeah. group for example like one example maybe like side work lack of side work so maybe if you have many yeah, you, some, some other correct 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 uh, but, uh, i think uh, so usually uh, on the structure level uh, uh, i i i started to organize more of uh, in part of the city that have the highest rate of uh, sidewalk so uh, so there's a, a, a ranking within my city here on each neighborhood how they rank on walkability so uh, and so apathetically in downtown is like a, like a 92% and yeah if you go to the suburb it's like 20% uh 20% uh, and if you go to certain neighborhood it's like 40% so early on uh although uh I, I did focus mainly in part of the city that have the highest the highest amount of uh, walkability on percentage rank uh that that, that seems uh and also yeah that, that that was sort of the the and hopefully with that to be able to uh to get people to to rally to be advocate for other places right uh because what i was i was having is people from different neighborhoods they like to walk but there's a the lack of uh, sidewalk in those uh, neighborhoods so they will come to another neighborhood and to walk and so th that there was a structure difficulty and also uh, another element is uh there's also race uh the race element part of it uh, uh in walking because human by nature are territorial and what i find myself sometimes when i go walk in new places depending if i'm uh racially speaking if i'm i'm at the minority spectrum of that neighborhood my presence right can be a sort of a, a element of curiosity and to that extent so I recently, I'm sure this one thoroughly, I wrote an essay, it's called uh, um, Assault by Human Nature While Walking. And the, the thing that I think you can take that for different subgroup, even a woman, uh, sort of women cannot walk themselves. So there's a, uh, there's a safety element associated with it. There's a, race-wise uh so anyway the the uh those there was a sort of a cultural challenge that uh, one had to overcome and there's also some structural challenge uh, the lack of safety net uh, because if there is not a clear sidewalk uh, sometimes it's the mercy of the driver because the, uh, unless the driver have sensitivity if they do not care they just uh you have fault so here if the driver feel like you know on the sidewalk they can hit you and they can still be a right so uh, uh and yeah. so there, there's uh, the civil discourse is really not quite clear because uh uh, uh here pedestrian i had a car is here pedestrian here so usually it's always a pedestrian spot so uh yeah anyway I don't know if I answered the question. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, if we don't have many more questions, think if you have more, otherwise we'll be wrapping it up. And I just want to say, Vinny, I really enjoyed your presentation and I think it'd be great. I think so many more people in the network would enjoy um, we'll put this up on YouTube, but enjoy hearing you talk about what you're doing. Um, it's a perfect network, I think, for sharing this. Uh, so it would be great to maybe have you in another roundtable, perhaps with other people in the network who are really active with um, organizing walks, because I think that's also knowledge that 
the network is sort of really would would enjoy at large a lot of us i right. i'm inspired watching your thing i wish i was nearby i would be joining on those walks and i love the before and after picture that's just amazing that you capture that um the sort yeah. of like tense everybody's like not talking and then the afterwards where they're smiling and they've probably been engaging i love that that's really great yeah yeah thank you yeah, and I, I look forward to hearing about you um, getting more resources so you could bring this to more people. I think that's really a, a, um, a noble and a practical goal, and it's just really exciting. So thank you. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. And uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I hope uh, to keep sharing uh, the love of uh, walking and be a truly pedestrian in any city in the world. <laughs> Well, you're in good company. I think everyone in the room here and in our network <laughs> widely are walking lovers. So uh, the next best thing would be for us all to be walking in person together. So, right, right. And, and yes, I'm looking forward to the uh, the the network uh, in September. I think uh, September. Yes, yeah. uh, I'm planning on coming over uh, to 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 meet more people there, and we uh, to to share some. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah learning from others as well. Fantastic. You'll have to do a workshop. Okay, I'm going to say thank you everybody also for joining. Oh, we have a question here. How we, can we find your work in the internet? Um, maybe as I, as I stop the recording, you can drop in uh, in the chat, maybe drop in your information for how people. Right. Yes, 